In a recent project, I had to cut some dados and I used my trim router and a very simple jig that I quickly made to do that. And I think I spent the majority of the rest of that project thinking about ways to improve that jig. And that's what I'll be showing you in this video. I'm making this project from scrap plywood and I really can't overstate how much of a difference a good quality sharp saw blade makes to the performance of your table saw especially when you're cutting plywood and you don't want to mess around cleaning up the saw cuts. So I'm taking the time before I get started to change the old one that's getting pretty dull for a new one from CMT that's very sharp. Like I said, I'm making the guide from scrap plywood. This first piece is three quarters of an inch thick and I'm cutting it to two inches wide. And then I'm also cutting two strips of half inch plywood to two inches wide as well. Then I'll reset my fence and cut the quarter inch plywood to four and a half. Then I can bring those parts over to my miter saw and cut them to length. And then I'll talk about the length a little bit here because you can make this as long as you want. The one that I'm building here will handle a panel up to around 12 inches wide. And I think that that size will cover the majority of the things that I'll use it for. But if you're often making dados and wider panels, you can make this longer to begin with. First step in the assembly is to make an L-shaped piece. This is the three quarter inch part that I cut and I'll be gluing on one of the strips of half inch that I cut. And it's very important that this is square. So I'm gonna check it before the glue sets. Next, I can glue on one of those pieces of quarter inch plywood, and you can see that that creates a shelf on the inside of the L for the router base to sit on. The other piece of quarter inch plywood gets glued to the other strip of half inch plywood, except this time it's not lining up the edge. It's actually hanging out over on one side by about three quarters of an inch. And I'll talk about the reason why a little bit later. And while that's drying, I'll pop in here real quick and tell you about the Maker's Mob Biggest Deal of 2022, where inside the Maker's Mob, you'll not only get access to learn how to make some of my top woodworking projects, you'll also get over 90 woodworking tutorials with plans from YouTube's top makers. And right now, if you click the link in the description below, we are also hosting a two month router bit challenge where you can upload the projects that you've made and compete with woodworkers at different skill levels. And up for grabs are thousands of dollars in prizes from CMT Tools and Taylor Toolworks. So click the link in the description below, learn woodworking from YouTube Stop Makers, and take advantage of this 99 cent sale before it ends. To get the most versatility out of this guide, I'm gonna be using a quarter inch bit that means that I can cut dados as narrow as a quarter inch, and it still allows me to cut bigger ones. And with the bit installed, I can clamp that first part of the guide to a scrap of plywood to do a test cut. Also, this test cut is doing something else. It's establishing the edge along that quarter inch plywood that marks the edge of the dado. Then I can take the other one with the offset and put that in place. And you can see here that the shelf on this one is closer to the final size already. So I won't be cutting off as much and the panel stays as wide as possible to keep it square. But before I make that cut, I wanna get the clamping mechanism finished. And that starts with a quarter inch hole for a quarter inch carriage bolt. I need to turn that hole that I drilled in the three quarter inch plywood into a slot so that the fence can move back and forth. And I'm gonna do that on my mini router table.
I want to make that slot a little bit bigger, so I'm moving the fence and then I'll recut on one side. Here's a detail about making this longer. You'll really want to have this on both ends. With a short one like this, having it on one end will work, but if you make it longer, you really need to secure the other end to keep it from spreading apart. As part of the Maker's Mob Router Bit Challenge, Taylor Toolworks is offering a limited time deal for this promotion only. You can get up to 50% off the CMT high-end saw blades that I used in this video, and also 30% off the top quality CMT router bits. If you click the link in the description below, on top of all that, if you use the code CMT10 at checkout, you will get an additional 10% off all CMT tools. So click the link in the description below while this offer is still available, and thanks for your support. Now that the clamping mechanism is finished, I can slide it over tight against the base of the router and cut the other shelf. To use the jig, you lay it on the material that you want to cut the dado into and then use whatever thickness of wood that you're going to be putting in the dado to space the fences apart. And you can see how easy it is to set up and use this jig to get a perfect fit every time. So that was half inch plywood. Now I'll try a piece of quarter inch plywood. It's a little bit less convenient to cut a three quarter inch wide slot with a quarter inch bit. But this jig is so easy to make, you can always make one that works with a larger bit. And while you're at it, you could also make that one longer for wider panels. 